Before I hand over the controls to Terry for the rest of the day, I want to tell you how pleased we are to have our Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport here today, the Honourable Michael Coteau, himself a great champion for Ontario's creative industries. Uh, Minister Coteau was first elected to the legislature back in 2011 as the MPP for Don Valley East. And in addition to serving as our Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport, he was also the minister responsible for last summer's wildly successful Pan Parapan American Games. So I think it's fair to say he has set the bar pretty high. Um, and we're really pleased that he was able to make time to be here with us this morning. So please join me in welcoming the Honourable Minister Koto. Well, good morning, everyone. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, uh, today. And uh, I'd like to uh, welcome everyone on behalf of the Premier of Ontario, the Honourable Kathleen Wynne, and uh, just recognize that we're on the traditional territory of the Mississauga of the New Credit. Um, I'd like to, uh, to thank the Ontario Media Development Corp Corporation for bringing us together and uh, thank Karen and her team for the outstanding work that they do every day to really uh, move Ontario forward. I'd like to uh, also recognize those who are joining us virtually. I know that uh, this is being webcast and uh, I won't be here for the entire day, but I'll be able to, uh, I hear it's gonna be on YouTube after, so we'll be able to, uh, to, all, to, be able to share that afterwards. Um, I'm excited to hear about the amazing things that are happening uh, here in Ontario in our inter entertainment and creative uh, cluster over the past year. And um, I, want to, uh, I want to recognize uh, the extraordinary work that uh, the folks in this room and across Ontario do every year to really, uh, you know, I think raise the bar and, uh, and uh, move our economy forward. This is a, an incredible uh, economy uh, driver here in Ontario. Um, we know that uh, when you look at video game development, film and television, book publishing, digital online services, these are growing sectors. Um, you know, I had the opportunity recently to, uh, to visit a video game developer, and um, I found that the starting salary for a video game developer is $70,000 a year. And these are, you know, it's growing at 7, 8, 9, 10% per year. So this is an industry that, you know, 15 years ago um, may not have uh, had a presence, a strong presence in Ontario, but it continues to grow. You know, we look at film and television, we think about that $10 million investment, you know, 15 years ago uh, to now uh, a massive industry, third largest in North America. We know that our government investment into this sector is, uh, is returning much more back into our economy and uh, really uh, helping people uh, find good paying jobs and continue to, to help the economy grow. I had the opportunity um, a few months ago to, uh, to go to Los Angeles to, uh, to meet with probably about 15 different companies that uh, do business in Ontario. Well, the first thing that uh, was interesting is how many Ontarians are actually in LA. I think there's about 100,000 of them working. But um, they all have this sense, and a lot of different companies I got in to, to meet with, um, they had this, uh, this understanding that Toronto, that Ontario is a great place to do business. And I think it's important for us to continue to uh, share those stories internationally and continue to attract business so we can help grow uh, the sector. We've seen over the last decade manufacturing um, and other uh, uh, businesses in Ontario, we've seen the numbers go down, but we've seen the opposite when it comes to media development and content development. And, um, you know, just, uh, I, I was looking around even during Christmas time at my house and, you know, the, the gifts that my do the gift that I got, I had got a Samsung virtu virtual reality headset and, um, you know, a couple of books and, uh, you know, a, uh, a gift card from uh, Apple. Like, everything was, like, digital content based, right? And uh, so this sector continues to grow. And, um, you know, just looking around, you know, my daughter sitting down watching, you know, uh, Miranda Sings. Uh, with some supervision, of course, um, but seeing that type of, you know, those YouTubers and the online content that, you know, uh, young children now are starting to identify more with, you know, the online characters than they are with, uh, you know, traditional uh, past characters. It's pretty interesting what's happening in Ontario. And the biggest challenge for us as a government, the biggest challenge, I think, for our sectors is to stay ahead of, uh, ahead of the game and continue to be innovative and continue to challenge ourselves, to continue to develop uh, different areas so we can continue to uh, attract that type of business and, uh, and develop that type of business here in Ontario. You know, I look around and, um, 
you know, we look at our big companies in this, uh, this province, and a lot of them are, you know, Canadian-owned, some of them are international companies, but we have small and medium-sized companies that are growing so quickly in this province, and many of them, uh, uh, online, uh, digital, uh, media, corporations, they're developing so quickly. I think it, there's going to be a stage where we're going to see these small companies, and we've seen them in the past, develop to such large international companies. Like, in LA, I had the opportunity to sit down with folks from E1 and talk to them about their experience in LA and in, and in Ontario. And, you know, go to visit their office. They have 700 people here, and it's just astonishing to me that they have the ability to distribute 45,000, uh, you know, different titles internationally. And that's being done uh, partly through this, uh, this office here in Ontario. Great companies like Deluxe and, uh, you know, uh, in my local community, uh, Mark Media, small company, 60 people, but they're making a difference in developing the sector here in Ontario and I just wanted to come here today to thank you for what you're doing because you are building the new Ontario. You're building an exciting Ontario that's, uh, that's part of uh, again creating those new jobs in the future and on behalf of the government I just wanted to come here to say thank you for doing what you do because um, you know without your sector uh, Ontario would not be the place it is. So on behalf again of the government uh, Karen, thank you so much. Thank you to all of our uh, Ontario Media Development Corporation board members, volunteers and staff for doing what you do each year. This is a, a great opportunity for people to come together, share ideas, to network, to talk about the challenges that 2016 will bring and uh, look for ways in which we can work together to, uh, to help build a stronger Ontario. Thank you very much.